What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Yamo from The Common Hype. And if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. This is our store located here in Tempe, Arizona. And we buy, sell, trade every single day. And we provide a lot of value on this channel. So if you guys are new, be sure to hit that like button. Yeah, you'll stop packing while we're doing the intro. I thought maybe you couldn't hear it. So be sure to like this video, comment down below because we respond to every single comment and we cash up one of you randomly $25. You could be any type of comment, comment what you like, comment what you don't like, comment your favorite part of the videos um, and we will cash up you. Today in store, we have a pair of fakes that came through. So if you guys are looking how to legit shut sinkers, this video is for you. We have some of the boxings and then uh, some behind the scenes. As you can see, we have Dum Dum and Dumber back there. Tommy's got a ski mask on it. It's not like, a ski mask. Bottle what is it? Dumb. Dumb or dumbest? Who's dumb? Keep that in mind. Me. Okay. It's okay. Fair enough. I'm just so baffled at what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, roll the intro and let's get into this video. Is when we leave. Boys, unboxings today. We got a few right behind me. Um, I already opened this box. I was selfish. I wanted to get them up on the feed, all right, and post it to the Instagram because that's where we post all of our stock. And we loaded them to the website. So this pair actually sold. We had four pairs of early Jordan 6 UNC come in. Uh, they're not on stock, they're only on GOAT. And early prices on their apps were like, 420 to 475 ish. We have all of them listed at 475 and the size they just sold. So Pretty good price for an early pair, if you ask me. When I can get a good pair on or price on stuff, I usually try and bless the viewers or our followers on Instagram for a good price as well, just because we like to give back to the community every once in a while. Um, and we're not just a store that just taxes up the ass, okay? We do our best to help you guys out. Anyway, size eight just sold early. Not a bad shoe. Do I need a pair of the UNC6 Fit Pick? Yeah, you know the comments are gonna yeah, be great. I, don't know about I mean, you can. Do I anything. gave him the cool grace. You did give him the cool grace. Bless him with did. it. Anything powder blue does not miss, like me on the basketball court. You know All what I'm right, saying? Yeah. yeah. We got another pack in here um, of some stuff, but we're not going to show that yet. What's something we've noticed is anytime we make an investment call, it just goes up. And if I don't buy enough pairs beforehand, I get screwed every single time. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to quietly buy them and then get my pairs at least and then give the info to you guys. But you guys know good chefs gets the info first. And speaking of that, in our last video, we had a hundred memberships sell out in six hours. And I told you guys it was limited, been getting a bunch of messages. Restock, restock, can't do it, man. Gotta wait till next month. But uh, they're getting the investment advice early. That's all I they can They already say. know what's in that box. They already know what's in that box. And they slept on and it. And they slept. Shout out to this guy named Face. We picked up a pair of the Beluga Reflective Yeezys. 350s, they do okay in our store, uh, but stuff like the bread 350 and the beluga 350s do really really well for us in store so uh, picked up a few pairs of these shout out to that guy next up we have um another pair of belugas this time in a size seven so we're gonna get these checked out let's see if they left a note same guy two different boxes this next package we got a size 12 wow brooklyn net 75th anniversary uh we have a lot of love in the east coast i'm not gonna lie when i first bought a pair of these i'm like these are never gonna sell because we're in arizona but online you guys clipped it and uh, we usually have these for a really fair price. Um, so this guy left a note and said, what's up, Common Hype, shake my hand. I love watching your videos, but watching you since you bought 30K in Chunky Dunkies. That's a long time ago. You guys have been my inspiration and were one of the reasons I started reselling. This is my first time cashing out. I can't wait for more business in the future. Shout out to Luke's. So thank you, Luke's, for the kind words. We appreciate it. Hope your reselling journey goes well. Mohammed sent us a pair of the Yeezy Slide Okers. Been buying a lot of these. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, yo, I love your guys' videos. I've been watching you since you guys were 20K subs. P.S. Brandon is my favorite. Yeah, thank you, thank you. You're my favorite, Mohammed. All right, so size 12, easy over side right there. This is a bigger box, all the way from Massachusetts. We've got packages from Turkey, Germany, Norway, uh, China. Mexico. Mexico, Canada. We've got a pair of just the recession-proof dunk, as we like to call them. Here at Common Hype. Left a note saying, yo, what's good, Common Hype? Love the videos, keep it up. God, I was able to sell multiple pairs. This is my third cash out with you guys. Nice, so we got a pair of patent breads, grade school size seven Y, and a men's pair size 10. People have been asking a lot of investment advice on, but I'm not going to give any investment advice on yet because I don't believe in these yet. I think these stay stagnant for a little bit um, and then they eventually go up. But uh, in terms of buying now, I'm buying into different things currently. So me and Johnson talked about it. You did, what did you guys say? In our investment video, said the same thing. Yes. Yeah. We're only buying as many as we can move. I didn't even get to that part of the video. Have a great day, man. I didn't even get to that part of the video and uh, 
That's crazy that we all agree on that. You guys have saw how hard it is to get Phasos. You know, we had him at 125, but now they gotta get up to like 130 now just because retail rate is. Uh, but these are coming more and more hard to acquire, let me tell you. Um, all I, need, white. I need a fresh pair. Yo, so do I, man. But 100 retail? I don't know, man. Listen, I'd go into a store and pay 130 if I had to for him. It's like you can't find them anywhere. It's like I'm about to. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get you. Size nine, nine and a half. And then we have a Beluga, another pair of Beluga reflectives in here. So um, shout out to this guy for sending us a pack. It's a special one, Brian. Why is it special? BBS. Really? Yes. Bryson had the hoodie. He you got it You gotta take in. it out for him. I got jealous. I said, hey, I'm gonna need that. I'm like, is it on the website? They're just like, just, we'll ship it. I was like, wow. You just know what I mean? Nuts, it's man. just nuts. They're different. Look Vintage at the wash. wash. Gosh, they're so different. Shout That's out all to I You're gonna see me in this hoodie a lot. I don't have a lot of hoodies in my, in my collection, but uh, yeah. Shout out yeah, to my boys over at Bound. To him. Yeah, you know me. Just always fitted yeah, every right. single day. Right. Talus hoodie, Lululemon comfy shorts, my Sakai beaters. Right, give it to him. Started down to piggies. Uh -huh. Got my new suit coke slides. All right, you know. Slept the on Apple bottom jeans with the fur. With the fur. <laughs> All right, the, boots, the fur. Good. And then I got the EE -E pants. I think you guys have seen this video already. Picked these up in Miami. I'm um, just a T under. And then shout out to my boy More Heat. He found me a No Fear crew neck. Peep the little. A little detail on yeah, that detail is yeah. crazy shout out my boy more here i appreciate you bro tommy fit check him oh, big slip in the day common hype shorts well, you can, you can just cut <laughs> yeah jace our intern for today what since we're what low staffed nothing crazy bruce adorman if you know you know lumber legs for the working now just got this done not too long yes, ago so hard dude yes, so hard some slept on shoes that people don't really f with but i do no, nah, I love them, dude. And then you got the Kill the Hype, Suns, Rally the Valley. Wow. wow. Cool. I'll rally your valley. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. When did we get these, by the way? Today. He bought mm -hmm. that. I, I had to pay $50 for mine. And Bean and Steve want it, so we should have them do something. Yeah, I want it. Just all a little unbox competition. It. Yeah. We should just all unbox wearing it. Tommy looks like, <laughs> no, just yeah. pull off a crazy fit. Oh, yeah, you, you could be, you could be like, next, next time we all work, whoever comes in with the hardest bolt. The lock club hardest lock fit. Fit battle? Whoever pulls out the hardest fit on we Friday? Should. But you should. And you have to wear the mask. Yeah. You have to oh, mask. you're losing. <laughs> you're losing, I don't bro. work on Friday, but I'll be here. You're losing. Oh, all right, listen, ladies and gentlemen, oh, first package from the boys at Bound by Soul, all right? Let's get a model real yeah. quick. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to put this on. No, like that. Just slip it on now. Shout out to the boys at Bound by Soul. You know they got us, right? Where's the branding? Is it on right here? Yeah, yeah right there. Yeah. I think it's 3M too, all right? Go shop down by Solo, get yourself right, all right? Wow. I wanna see you wearing this at the next event. All right, well, I just wanted to show that one because that's for my boys at Bound by Soul. Thank you, JQ and Dre. And uh, now we're gonna let Dumb and Dumber do the rest of the unboxings. Big yeah, Steve is back in the house. Oh, they you guys you know Steve. it. They did? I missed you, Steve. Really? Yeah. That's so nice. You know, we don't work together too often, but. I'll let you go first. Oh, me first? Yeah. All right. Well, it looks like we both it's got like some a, some it's singles. It's like the B grade version of Drew and I trying to unbox. Some might say the A plus grade? grade version. Yeah. The B grade? Yeah, that's what I heard that's too. Disrespect. Weird. All right. So it looks like these are gonna be three separate packages. I think these are gonna be the other two from this PO. Uh, size 11 ochre slide, size 10 foam runner ochre, and a bread toast size 11. So if you guys have been watching recently, those three shoes are kind of our bread and butter around here. You know, we like to raffle them off. Uh, we have a lot of sizes in them. So if you're looking for any of these, you know where to find them. Bread and butter. Nice analogy. Yeah, you know. Look, like bread toe, foam runner, slide. I got a cooler shoe than you, oh. bro. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow, you did get a cooler shoe I than did me. get a cooler shoe than you. This is a big boy shoe oh right here. God. I think these are the foam runners from that last pack, so as I talked about earlier. The ochre foam runners. Oh, wait. My bad. Oh, that's the Drew Special right these. here. These. These are the Drew Special, although I don't even think he could pull these off. Wow, Core Perk. Very large Top shoe. Perk. Size 14. Wow. Damn, are those aged? A little bit worn, you know. He's going a little crazy. Funny little story about this shoe in particular. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but this shoe shot up, not recently, but a lot of time passed after the release, it shot up. This is the first, one of the first shoes I ever tried to resell. How'd I it bought go? This, I bought this for $200, and uh, I was so nervous I wasn't gonna make money that I sold them on eBay for $230, so. So after fees, so after you fees, broke After even? fees, I think I made $3. I didn't wow. tell my mom. Yeah, was you're a reseller. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, thanks. Yeah, that's good chefs for you. No, and then we kidding. hired him. Yeah. That's what we want to see on the resume. That was on, that was on my, in my interview, I talked about that. So. Yeah. Little starfish. Didn't Brandon make a call on these in the good chefs? A whole, lot of, a whole long time ago he did. And they dropped Brandon a makes a lot too. of calls. So. Coming up to the moon. You're damn right, Milo. 
Thank you for the package. You sent us some goldenrod dunks, you know, a channel favorite. We have a couple a people DM one. us about the future trajectory of these shoes. Uh, might be going up. You that never know. I've hey. never used the word that big in my life. I tried. Wow. I don't think I used it right, but. Wow. No, that was perfect, I think. We got some atmospheres. Oh. Thank you! Whoa. Wow. <laughs> I've never, that I've real never life, sneezed on camera. That real life scared me. What are we working with here, Brian? I'm not sure. We're gonna find out. I missed the. I see the purple on the sense. dome and the body. Yes. Look at him. Yeah, you see it. This is from Invading LA Supply Co. Looks like we got some Kobe tees. Wow. No, it's Damn. Damn. Wow. Son. Oh, a little Kobe tee says wow. rest at the end, not in the middle. Brandon's girlfriend tells him that all the time. <laughs> little Kobe MJ, little bobblehead action. What does it say? What does Looks it pretty say? sick. Look, Jordan bald in the 13s. Why can't I? That's all I'm saying. Oh. Next uh, all in 13s? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I wasn't there. I'm hooping in Jordan 13s this week. Stay tuned for Friday's video to see how I perform in them. All right. So we appreciate invading LA. Appreciate the little package right there. And uh, let's get into the rest of the video. Fit check him real quick, B. Yeah, I'm different. Common eye, Pat. You see it? <laughs> Plain black key. Essential sweats. <laughs> suit slides. Yeah, you are different. I'm different. Steve. Um, um, Dave T. Oh, he's starting up top. Sorry. Oh yeah, Drew. Drew shorts. Uh huh. First time wearing them. Is that corduroy? <laughs> Zebra dunks. Oh, I didn't wear my common height uh, socks today. It's because I only got one pair. Found my soul. <laughs> <laughs> common height, <laughs> common height. The yellowest Yeezys you'll see walking down the street. You know, start from the bottom. A lot of people don't like these. Uh, Yeezy 500s, they're the actually- salts? Oh, I think the they're, salts? they're the blush. All right, you you're know. making me blush. Yeah, wow. that's what I do. But uh, they're actually, they're more comfortable than 350s in my opinion. Did you see the new thing that came out? <laughs> that uh, Yeezy 500s are actually a basketball shoe and the sole of the shoe was made after a Kobe. It's the exact same shoe as a Kobe. Let me wear those. That, well, that Friday's video, you'll when, see. Am I hooping in the 500? That's, a, that's crazy. When Kobe was with Adidas, he had a shoe that had the exact same sole as the 500, like to the T. And they threw it on the easy 500. So it's technically oh, a basketball shoe. If, honestly, that surprises the hell out of me, but I'm gonna try it. And yeah. then uh, just some shorts and then this little Supreme tee that I like. So. Very there good, very good. I got the uh, LA fitted on, the Drew House purple hoodie. Uh, bound by sole shorts, suit close slides, and you guys see it. The common height Wait, socks. What else is that? A little, a little new tattoo. Sorry, mom. Literally was at her house yesterday. She goes, "You need to stop getting tattoos." And in my head, I'm like, "I have an appointment tonight." Oh, she watches the videos. She does. Do you do the? Do you do? In my a... defense, mom, the appointment was booked before you told me that, and I also was gonna get them done anyway. But I still love you so much. But anyway, check it out. It freaking hurt. I'm telling you, this one humbled me. Yeah, if you guys don't know much about tattoos, that one on the knee, that yeah. knee right there. That's... It wasn't fun. Steven's yeah. the master, though. Steven and it was know. late. That's terror. That's tragic. Steven, come here. Come around. Sorry, I didn't mean to touch it. By the way. Oh, you're good. You can touch it all you want. Steven got. Uh, you're, you're catching up. Steven to got me, the bro. snake at the by the same girl that did mine. You're catching up. That's two aesthetic legs right there gotta, in one frame. I gotta. I gotta get going. Again. Oh my god. Work out. I need to change my pants. I haven't worked out all of 2022. We squat. Yeah, we do. All right, boys, we're in store today. Uh, one of our boys came through and he said he bought some kicks off his homie who supposedly worked at StockX or something. So he brought him in to have us legit check them. You guys know you guys can come in store and get stuff legit checked. We do it for free. We want to help you guys out. So um, he came in, we checked some of the pairs and they all turned out to be no good. So, you know, it's the classic. I got a homie at StockX and you guys got to make sure you're getting your pairs legit checked. No matter where you're getting them from, it's always good to get a second opinion. So um, we're glad homie came through. Hope he gets it sorted out. But I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that told me that all these were no good. So just for educational purposes, when you guys get pairs, it doesn't happen to you. So first thing, I took the shoe out. There's a silica pack in here. So obviously Jordan's never shipped anything with the silica pack. So that's kind of like the first telltale sign. And then Steve, if you bring it in close right here, um, I looked at the sticker, which you guys know we talk about a lot and it just comes off like this. You guys know the sticker's supposed to have ridges. You're not supposed to feel them, but you should be able to see them. And it should have ridges and stuff. And then that color green right there, it should be more of a green. It's more on like the blue side of it. And of course, when I went to like touch it, it just fell right off. So that's kind of the first telltale sign. You can tell by the thickness of the paper and then just overall the build of these Flint 13s, how fat the tongue is. Um, it should be more like tight um, and inside, but this one was probably the easiest one just off the bat. I saw this first and it was just kind of a no-brainer so that was the first thing i checked on these these ended up being the first pair that was not good and then as well the structure of the box just didn't feel right um it's kind of hard to explain you kind of have to do it by touch but it just didn't feel right so that was the first one and then the second pair was this pair of inertia 700s right here now the first thing tommy actually noticed this because tommy's getting good at legit checking I'm in there. yeah you're in there um if you can bring it in close to steve a little bit 
Um, inside of there, it's gonna be a little hard to see, but if you can catch it in there, just the print on the inside is, is pretty off. The stitching's off in there, as well as the font size on the tag. It's a little too bold. Overall though, this one was probably one of the better ones. Um, with the exception of this one right here, they just ended up not being good. You guys can tell how damaged the box is too. The paper in there too. Paper, if you guys can learn like the paper in your boxes, you'll notice pretty fast when the paper just, there's just something off of the paper, but overall the structure of the box and then I didn't even get to the label. The label just looks off, the font doesn't look correct and it looks extremely off-centered, like the line's going down this way on the, on the sticker right here. And then this one, this is a very, very fake shoe. So be careful um, when you're purchasing this one. Everything on this shoe material-wise look pretty decent for the most part. The first thing I did, you guys know when we smell shoes, you guys are like, why are you sniffing the shoe? Shoes have a pretty distinguished smell, especially when they're right from Nike and stuff. This shoe just smells like a nail salon. It's just kind of hard to explain, but it, the, the scent is just off. The insole wasn't terrible. And then inside, the stitching on Shattered Backboard 3.0s is actually black inside. So this one is white. The stitching inside though isn't bad. It does have the tape and stuff. So, I mean, the fakes are developing pretty good. On here, the tag on the tongue right here, it is a little low. It should be a little bit higher. Um, but then again, there's also quality control issues with that. You'll see normal, real pairs that have um, this just like a little bit off-centered so that you can't really go off of that but the smell alone the inside of this tag right here the font is way way too bold and everything's really compressed it looks like it's more of a compressed tag so um, between that there was nothing on the black light and stuff like that which is a little bit scary and then of course the paper again it just wasn't hitting so these are three pairs that came in today we just want to show you guys we like to show you guys every time we come in and the customer is comfortable with let's filming that we just want to help you guys stay educated and make sure you guys are buying good stuff and uh, hopefully it helps. So we're gonna roll the segment. It's not Nate, but we're gonna roll widget checking with Nate.